All right, so I did, um, I rolled some, I tool. cut two two twos out of 12 yards. So cut it at 12 and cut it at 24. That's two two twos at seven inches. And then what I have left, this right here, I'm gonna use this for two two socks. No socks involved. I'll repeat again in Spanish. Um, estas son 12 yardas del, del paquete de tul. Este lo corté a 12 pulgadas y luego a 24 pulgadas. Aquí me salieron dos tutús de 7 pulgadas. Este va a ser un tutú, este va a ser otro tutú. Y lo que me sobró de aquí no lo voy a tirar. Este lo voy a usar para hacer los calcetines que no llevan calcetines, que son los um, lo que va en la, las tobilleras, creo que se llaman. Entonces, este lo voy a usar para las tobilleras y este yo lo voy a cortar. No voy a necesitar las 12 yardas. I'm not going to use 12 yards to make an anklet. But since I already have it nice and folded and cut, I am going to cut this at one, two and a half inches. Lo voy a cortar a dos pulgadas y media. Y de aquí voy a hacer lo, las tobilleras. So this is where I'm making the anklets for, from. No, I don't use um, 12 yards for the anklets, but since it's already folded and cut, I mean, yes, folded and cut and even right here, I'm going to just cut it already and have it in hand if I need to make anklets. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you only one anklet. Les voy a enseñar nada más una tobillera porque la otra sería lo mismo because the other one would be the same. So I took out about three yards from what was left on that end piece of the bolt. So saqué tres yardas. Es todo lo que voy a usar para estas tobilleras. This is all I'm gonna use for this particular anklet because I am using grass grain ribbon and it's thicker as I mentioned before. And I am going to stack this with another color ribbon and uh so i do mine in one step i've seen other people's videos and i like their method and everything and it looks good and it works but it's a time consuming so i've i've done it how all the other videos are on on youtube and they're cool they're good they work but i need to move faster <laughs> i almost did not want to sell anklets because it's just more, it's more and more and more and time consuming. So what I'm gonna do is stack my ribbon like this. So if it falls, it'll fall like this. The pink under the cow print. Estas, uh, la tengo el rosa debajo de la, de la vaquita. Y voy a coser todo en un solo paso. No voy a coser uno, luego el otro, luego el otro. Todo lo hago en un paso para guardar tiempo. Entonces voy a poner lo así. Zoom you in. Okay, zoom you out. And then here's my tool. Aquí está el tool. Voy a dejar que se caiga del piso lo que sobra. Y vamos a emparejar aquí. Let's even this out. Lo voy a doblar así. I'm going to fold it this way. Long ways. Try to have it even. I mean, it's not going to be super even. That's why I cut like a good chunk. Two and a half. Just in case it starts getting uneven. Lo voy a emparejar lo más que pueda. Y voy a dejar un pedacito... Así de chiquito, acá arriba, porque tengo de aquí donde voy a coser, so voy a tener todo esto de mi canal para meter el, el elástico. So I'm going to leave just a peak, just maybe that's like a fourth sticking out, but remember that the thread is going to go right here where the pink is, so I still have about this much, to, that's probably an eighth and this is probably like a fourth, to, so I can stick it stick in my elastic. So I can reach the the pedal because you guys are on the way okay right there so i'm gonna do that backstitch vamos a empezar a coser y no va a quedar perfecto a veces si me voy bien chueca pero no se ve ya que está todo um todo cosido ya todo junto 
I do go very crooked sometimes, but once everything is gathered together, you can't tell. I try to stay as even as possible, but it's not always possible. So just to, um, I don't know, maybe people will ask. There's two layers, okay? Two layers of tool, and when you fold it, you should have four. So two right here and two right here when you fold it. So en total son dos pedazos de tool, pero cuando lo doblas, tus aquí debe de ser dos y deben de ser dos y dos, o um, por si alguien pregunta. Okay, so at this point, everything's starting to twist, as you can see. So we're gonna try to even like fix that as best as possible. Todo se está torciendo, so lo, lo voy a acomodar con mis con mis manos. Um, so lo mejor que yo pueda. Por eso corto dos pulgadas y media para tener suficiente espacio entre el listón y el canal que estoy haciendo para el elástico para por si queda disparejo tengo mucho mucho espacio para trabajar para tratar de corregirlo yo sé que no me entienden pero cuando las cuando empiecen a coserlas se van a dar cuenta de lo que estoy hablando this is why I leave uh, two and a half I cut two and a half inches just in case it is uneven. I have room to work with if it, if it is uneven. So you, I can still have room to sew the channel and I won't sacrifice like space that goes in, in the elastic. I know it doesn't make sense, but once you start making them and start sewing it, you would understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm coming to my end. Estoy llegando al fin del tool. Ahora sí voy a cortar aquí. Muy bien. Vamos a sellar. Let's see all the ends. Perfect. Okay. So now... I need to add the elastic. Ahora para uh, agregarle el listón. Tengo este listón. This is the elastic. Super stretchy. And I'm going to cut this at six and a half inches. Seis pulgadas y media. Voy a cortar. Y estas son para... No son para bebé. Bueno. Son de... Un año para arriba, las he vendido de un año para arriba y no me han, no me han dicho que están muy chiquitas o muy grandes, quedan bien. Ya si sería un bebé más pequeño, este, usaría el listón más pequeño. If I had to do it for a smaller child, then I would use the 7 eighths. Yeah, seven eighths of an inch to do the socks, but since this is like a year and up, um, you'll see right now. And then this is what we got. We have the elastic with two safety pins. So vamos a tomar el listón y empezar a ponerlo dentro. Y vamos a ver cómo queda. Okay, so then up, oh, I grab one end and I grab the other end 
and then I tie a knot. Los voy a... Ok, so aquí los voy a hacer un nudo. Y apriételo bien, porque si le cortamos la colita y lo dejan muy cerquita, se puede deshacer. So no lo voy a cortar tan cerquita. Make sure you, that knot is really tight and you don't cut this too close to the knot. Otherwise, it would come undone. Okay. And then, estas dos las coso, las cierro así. Pero antes de hacer eso, asegúrense que todo el listón esté del lado correcto porque a veces se tuerce. Make sure all the ribbon is facing the right way. See, right here is twisted. Aquí está torcido. So you gotta make sure you go through your ribbon. Make sure it's not twisted. Okay, there it goes. And then you stitch this right here. And then I distribute the, I fix it with my hand. Make sure you kind of get all the ribbon all around evenly. Vamos a distribuirlo, que quede parejito por todos lados. Okay. And then for picture purposes, I added this. Um, so that the it doesn't slide down because it's hard and it's slippery and it, it slides all the way down. And for the picture, I want them to be able to see that it's a foot, you know, that this is on. So, por la, raz por la razón de la... No, ¿cómo se dice? Por el propósito de la foto, le puse este para que no se me resbalara este. Es solo porque está duro y se resbala para abajo y para... Para la foto yo quería que, que, que se viera que era, un, que era un piecito. Porque si estaba así muy abajo no se veía que es. So yo le puse la servilleta ahí para que no se, se, me, se me resbalara hasta abajo. And of course, cut all these extra threads. Cortan todos los hilos que quedan ahí. And there it is. And then you just fix it however you want. I like it messy. A mí me gusta um, así no muy, no sé que se vea poco messy. <laughs> so I kind of move just for the picture, you know. Either way, it's going to be messy when they wear it. It's not going to stay nice and neat. So I rather a tutu or whatever I'm doing look the way that it's going to look when you wear it. So I like it messy. I move some of the ribbon down, some of it up. And then, ta-da! There's one anklet. Remember, this is for a toddler, so if you're gonna be making them for a smaller child, then use the smaller ribbon. Otra vez, este es para un, un bebé ya un poquito más grande que ya camina. Eh, si quieren hacer para bebé, bebé, entonces pueden usar un listón más pequeñito. Este es de 7 octavos, así se dice, no sé. Um, and yeah, that's it, that's it, that's the video. I gotta make the other one, but you guys get the idea. Um, quick video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.